So, hello everyone. Before we start with our presentation, uh, which one of you here has an experience with the front end development of creating user interfaces? Is there anyone who knows the frameworks to create user interfaces? Raise your hand. Okay, if there's no one, just start with our presentation. Okay, you can start. Uh, you can talk. Someone raise their hand. Let's just go to the presentation. So you can say it right. Since uh, I can't see your message, everything, everyone, you can type me if my voice is not audible. Do you have any question? Okay. okay. You can see the shared file, right? I'm not confirming. So today we're gonna start uh, learning about building user interfaces for our data science project or machine learning project with Streamly. Uh, and later after our session, we will see the same kind of uh, concept with React and Python programming, we'll start programming. So uh, let's start with Streamly. So Streamly is, uh, it can help us create an interactive dashboard for data science and in your projects. Uh, it's, since it's built on top of Python, you can use packages that we are already familiar with, like Pandas, Matplotlib, this kind of package, stream uh, lets you to use them. So it, it wouldn't be uh, that much unfamiliar to you for those of you who never used this before. It's similar to like uh, to the Python uh, package you have been using so far in your notebooks and your modules. So it's easier compared to React Vue uh, for data science. I, personally, I find it more easier. So just listen uh, about this, how you can do this well. So you know, the installation is simple. The first thing you need to do is just uh, write this command create a folder and run this command, then string it will be, you can start using string after that. The command you use to run the string application would be this one, after the py is a, it can be any file you created. It's just a sample here. So I have put it a lot of references here from the string documentation. So there's actually a map log, uh, YouTube videos, geeks work, these, these are, uh, references that can help you create a better um, dashboard. So if we see this document, this is a Streamlit uh, document. Uh, you can see here, there's a lot of Streamlit commands. For example, to write a text or a header, you can use a single text. It's very simple commands. It has a lot of uh, commands that are easy to understand. They're, they're Command is readable, so uh, you can pick anything you want from here and put it in the project. So let's just uh, go with the project. So this is pretty much it for the slide presentation. It's better to show you in coding. So this is the folder that I created to show you the project, the process. You can simply create anything you want, any with any name. It's simply create this folder. So all you have to do is uh, 
the command I, I wrote on the slide, if you remember it, it says it restores the image. This is the, the command that you have to do. Is, uh, it's showing me this because I've already installed it. And to run the command, you only have to. Uh, so let's just go back to uh, the already created stream based folder that I already did. This is one, this one. So I think it's clear. Just create a folder and in, keep installed stream based. You can do that. Uh, after that, all you have to do is create a new file. I already created a file name with active py. And you can start using Streamlit here. Simple. So uh, I'm not going to write each code here. So I already have a code that I can show you as a sample what Streamlit can do for you. So to run this after the QR, you will write this command Streamlit run after the QR. Simple. Then just enter. It will give you a port. This is it. This is a sample project that I created for. Uh, our Slack project for this week project. So before I show you what the project can do, let me show you the code here. This is a normal import files you already used to importing pandas, matplotlib. This is libraries you already use in your notebooks. So this is what makes Streamlit special. You already know this package, and you can then you can use them in Streamlit to create user interfaces. So this is a video title. If you remember here on the sheet, on the document sheet, I have shown you here there are a lot of SDO hey, text markdown. These are all uh, commands, small commands to create headers for your uh, application. So by putting here SDO titles like message, if you see it on, sorry, if you see it on the dashboard created, I this I created this header on my user interface. So these commands are quite simple. You just I, you just have to write them, and I and SDO text command write me this channel members analysis. So this part it's immediately find here. So if you make any change. So this part, this upload file, this part of the UI is created with this code. This is again the Streamlit code. You can find it on sheet on the document sheet of Streamlit. This it's like uh, the HTML. If you know HTML, the input tag when you create when you write type file, it can give you the option to upload file. On uh, Streamlit, this command will let you upload file from your computer from your local computer. So I, I did that. So if there is an upload file, it's a Python code. Uh, I'm asking it with Panda uh, frame Panda package to read the CSTB file that I uploaded. From the CSTB file, I asked it here to write me on the my user interface the first uh, the first elements of the CSTB file. Okay. So uh, this df to describe, I'm sure you have used it in your notebooks to get uh, the full conclusion of your CCP file, data frame file. It gives you the standard, the mean. Uh, if you already uh, used it on your notebook, it won't be new. It, it, wouldn't, it won't be new for you. It's just the, the Python code to read our data frame. And this is a sample graph plot that I made with Matlab. I created a bar graph for the channel names of the Slack message to the amount of members they have. So this is a small code to use the user interface. You can uh, style this um, dashboard with, with CSS. So I have put how you can style your dashboard on the reference. Check that video. It will show you how can you make SSS uh, styling on the dashboard. So this is a sample testing project that I did. So let's now see the project what it can do. So we can upload CSTB file from documents. Sorry, here. Okay. 
this is the csv file from your data set that you share with you or this week so this is uh, somewhat cleaned uh, from the channel.json uh, file this is a data frame from that file you already have worked on this the data set so we'll bring up for you so all community building have 51 members technical support the same uh, almost the four the first four this outputs is displayed because I call this function here. SD dot write the F dot H. Just clear. So the second command that I give my streamlet is to display this part. The F to describe to describe my data frame. So this is the data frame for the above uh, data frame table. So the count, the mean, the standard deviation. Uh, this is the statistics. So the sorry, the bar has some error here. If you want to rerun your dashboard, you don't have to refresh it here. There is a command on default setup of Streamly to rerun an option, so you can rerun it. So this is it. I plot from the, my data frame this bar chart on the stream dashboard. So all community has 51 members. Uh, I give it, it uh, I give it, since the table is really long, I give it only to display the three elements from the table. So that's why it's showing like that. So uh, if you have a question on this, you can forward it. I think it's pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to go back to okay. Anyone with a question? I think the steps are simple. Yes, you can create the folder anywhere. Then, uh, and you have to connect your. Uh, I create this sample dashboard on the front side only, but you have to. You can connect stream with your uh, SQL uh, database, and you can drive the data there. Also, probably you guys have to do it like that. You can go there on the sheet that I provided. There is a there is a command how you can connect it with SQL database. So follow that, and you can create the connection with your database and drive the data from your database. Okay. Okay. I have provided a reference how you can connect it. Uh, so just look, uh, follow that, and if it doesn't work, uh, you can ask, ask, ask me. Mila, for the CSD database connection, I have provided the yeah, references. And I can show you on the sheet also there is. You can see here, you connect to data sources. There's a command how you can connect it on the document. So you can follow this. There's a lot of different stories. So. I 
think there is an option to connect with both relational or non-relational. Uh, but probably for for a fact, it it will be suitable to connect with SQL. It's just your preference, Abraham. I think you know the relational, the non-relational. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Hello. Okay, sorry. You can you can continue, Joseph. Ah uh, yes. Um. So um. I I didn't follow uh, how you uh, uh uploaded the streamlit. Uh. Okay. If I left off where you installed the streamlit, but from then on I don't know how you deployed. Uh. Onto the website. Uh, okay. I can so show I'm you testing. Could you uh, go back a bit? Yeah, here in my code. The code is found in up to three files. This file can be anything. You can name it anything you want. So when you want to run or deploy your dashboard, you have to write simply to run your file name. So when you click it, it this code, this code will give you your RS, which will deploy what you put, your code in the stream dashboard. Is it clear now? Yes, yes, uh, that's, uh, that's clear now. Yeah, I have put it, uh, the comments on the slide. I'll show you. Uh, also, uh, can you share the recording uh, of this uh, meeting after? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I interpret my Jupyter notebook to stream with the preview? Mm, I, I don't know if you can do that, but Jupyter or, uh, will show you what you want to see. Is Jupyter can, show you, can help you to display right on your, you can, See your graphs and everything on notebook. Streamlit is just the the purpose of Streamlit and any uh, user interface uh, user interface frameworks is when in your career life when you introduce you what you did you don't have you, you cannot show them your code you have to show your employers or clients with uh, some dashboard. So I think you can connect Streamlit with your clean data that you already stored in the database and you can connect it with Streamlit and preview your uh, output. So uh, maybe check it. There might be some way you can connect those two. So check it. Okay. Wait, another report. Uh, no, you can create, you can uh, make it on the same report, just create a folder for the stream bit for us to differentiate it, uh, to notice why the, your project, just make sure you rename it properly. You know, just make sure this is a dashboard or stream bit something so we can know. Yeah, we'll continue. Abdur. Abdur. My question is um, with our task, are we supposed to upload uh, the data or are we going to connect it to the database? So it will be directly taking it from the database. So there won't be any need to upload any file. Yes. You should connect it with the database. It's just this is a sample example. Okay. As part you. of your uh, user interface, if you want to create some kind of upload, you can do that. That means you should connect with the okay. Yeah. Okay. Brian, can continue. Okay. Am I audible? 
Okay, so my question is uh, in task four, the minimum essentials are like um, designing the dashboard and then second, implementing that design using Streamlit. And then afterwards, it says uh, like this. So write a basic React app or Streamly component to demonstrate uh, your understanding of full stack, uh, which means like in bracket it says front end using React or SQL and SQL and then back end using Python. So what I what I don't get understand what I don't what I don't get to understand is like in the minimum essentials first we get we get to design the dashboard uh, to show the results of the task one and task two right and then afterwards we implement the, the that dashboard using Streamlit let's say. And then afterwards, it says like to run the basic function or stream to demonstrate our understanding of full stack meaning wise, which is something which is unrelated to our Slack data analysis, just to show our understanding of full stack or uh, doing the first two tasks to demonstrate our understanding of the full stack concept. Uh, I get confused because it's like, is it looking for another thing uh, just to show our understanding or uh, yeah. it's just the previous one? Yeah, if you have time, it, it can be a bonus point for you if you do it for the stream lead on and, and as a full stack with React. But I don't mm -hmm. think you have time to do both. So you can just choose one. Either you can do it with React or with stream lead and just okay. show us the output of your data. It's just for you okay. to be familiar with it. React is also a famous programming uh, web framework that's commonly used. So. It wouldn't hurt for you to understand that as well, as well, especially for your future careers. So, but just for now, don't just stress out with thinking that you have to do both. Just pick one. Okay. And play with that. So, still, you're not you're not answering my question. I'm sorry to say like this, because. My question was like the first two tasks. It's asking to to show to create a dashboard using Streamlit and demonstrate our skills and then uh, show the statistics basically. That's all. And then, but at the end, it says like to write it's a racked up or Streamlit component, right? And then, is it about yeah. our Slack data analysis or do we have to create something uh, something small dummy enough and then to show off our skills or our understanding of full stack concept? Do you understand okay. my question uh, now? Yes, I think. Uh, I think so. So uh, you're saying, I think you we have a data, so we have to show it based on our data, or we do do we have to create another demi data just to show our states on React, right? Yes. No, just focus on your data. You don't have to create demi data to show your skills on React. Mm -hmm. so just use okay. the one that you have. Yeah. Uh, I'll reach out with the other team, team and just uh, try to uh, to give just to give you the correct response. I will reach out on the Slack and write you again. About but from my understanding, it's not a Display your data with one of the framework. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyone? This is a simple uh, framework, so I, I don't think it will uh, trouble you that much. Just check out my references and reach out to me on the Slack or DM me if there's an issue happening when you create your uh, configuration and stuff like that. So if you don't have any questions, I, I guess. We can end this presentation here. Uh, if you can go ahead, I'll do that. Yeah. You can st start asking your question. I'll do Rahman, I think. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can Anyone? hear you. Yeah, Abdul yeah I, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, you answered these questions before, but uh, can you answer it again? Uh, 
it's uh, Abraham at these questions. Uh, can we just uh, our rip or create a new one? No, don't create a new one. Just create the folder inside your repo. Uh, when you rename your folder, just rename it so we can know what the folder contains. Just maybe say it's uh, Streamlit UI, something like that. Just make sure the naming is clear so we can check it. You don't have to create a new repo. Is that clear, Raghur? Abdul Rahman, do, do, did I answer your question? Sorry, my internet connection uh, is a little bad, so I didn't hear your answer correctly. Can okay, you type you do, it, please? You have... Maybe in okay. Slack. Okay, I would do that. Uh, anyone? Any other question? I'll write it on the Slack. Uh, family, I, you don't have to create MongoDB and SQL are data is uh, URLs, right? You don't have, they don't need any different uh, folder. So if you are asking them when you connect them with UIs, for example, if you are using SQL with Streamlit or MongoDB with Streamlit, just create for the UI part a folder and you can do the whole full stack thing inside the folder just name it stream with ui or craft ui so we can when we see in that folder we can see every connection you made with sql and everything yeah just for the front end i mean the rest that we are doing right now is just finding it's, it's already there in your notebooks modules so the only thing that is happening is the uh, front end, right? Okay, Magdas, you can go ahead. Okay, to answer Mikhail's little question, uh, this is usually what we recommend to do because this stream based apps are mostly common, commonly used. So if you are confident with other UIs, I guess you can do that, but just to go along with other trainings, this is what an academy offers for now. So you do that. But nothing. Uh, will stop you from using those the, the more you know uh, if you know other the others it's good for you just for this submission uh, use either streamlit or react there's no special um, reason in academy or for this uh, session to be to choose streamlit or react okay so the are the common used uh, frameworks Okay. Any questions in there? Okay, I'm gonna take this as you know, your silence. So just go get back to your uh, working on your project and reach out to me on the Slack if there's any questions based on today's presentation. I'll share the slides and everything. Yes, you can do both. On the afternoon session, I will show you how you can use React. So you can choose which is best for you based on your timeline, deadline for this week. 
just choose what is easier for you. So you cannot consume your time. Okay. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, Abdullah, you can stop recording, I guess.